one of the terms I developed, but not the, I didn't develop the phenomena, the phenomena we all experience. I call pro being pride. And it's not, it's not really an emotion. It's more of a experience of aliveness in a very unique way. Um, it comes from the word origin of proud, which is a Latin term and it's spelled P-R-O-D-E-S-S-E, pro dessa. Pro means for and essa means to be, um, but I think of it as for being, so pro being, pride. Um, and for being means the unique way you come alive. So a, a kind of quintessential example of this is when a baby is born and the parents are excited to be with and discover this baby and they go, ah! and it's like they have this sense of that unique person is engendering and stimulating my unique person with them and with myself and is a kind of delight. And that delight is interrelational. I'm delighted to be me. I'm delighted that you're delighted to be you and, and we're delighted to delight in each other. And delight in my view is not just joy and happiness, which it can be, it's more aliveness. Um, so I'm not just looking for a person is um, feeling, experiencing the effects of trauma. I'm looking for their experience of their own aliveness. Um, and it can often co-occur with the traumatic experience in the moment or through the processing of the trauma, that's what they experience. So that person I was describing often will have an experience through the processing of the trauma <clears throat> where they come alive and they will feel literally an opening in their chest. They will feel like they're looking up rather than down or they experience themselves as though they're standing up rather than crouched down. Um, and they feel a sense of wholeness or oneness with themselves, with me and with the world. <clears throat> and that is what I would call pro being pride. Hello and welcome. Um, I'm here today with uh, Ken Benau, PhD, who is a clinical psychologist based in the San Francisco Bay, Bay Area. And uh, he actually has a book coming out entitled Shame, Pride and Relational Trauma, Concepts and Psychotherapy. So maybe if we just to, to, to begin, maybe you could tell us a little bit about how you work in an experiential way with your clients. Experiential psychotherapy for me is attending to in the moment experience, but experience here could mean sensing, perceiving, uh, feeling, embodying. So it's, it's noticing what's happening right now, particularly in what I would call a bottom-up way, sort of body to mind, even though these are not separate. Um, and from what people call the subcortical to the cortical. And then the reflection is, how do I make sense of that experience? What meaning do I give it? Sometimes it's in the narrative form. Um, so experiential psychotherapy begins with the emotions, the body, the in the moment noticing of what's happening with as little initial interpretation of what it's saying. Um, and then letting that be noticed um, and experienced in a way that can be transformational or in a way that can lead to discovery of some knowing that previously was not known, was more implicit. 